how to fix a Pioneer CDJ 800 MK1. All you're really gonna need is medium to large sized screwdriver and something to lay your CDJ on a towel or I have a couple pillowcases I'm gonna use. Lay your towel or pillowcases, whatever, something soft down because you're gonna have to flip it upside down. The first thing you're gonna do is there is a screw all the way in the back. You're gonna take this screw out right here. Then you're gonna turn the whole entire CDJ upside down. Then you're gonna have a screw right here, 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 and here that you're gonna have to take off. And also one way up in the front right here. So there's five screws. One next to each foot and then the one right up front. After you have the five screws out, you're gonna take and flip it back over and then this whole top piece will come off. But you do have to watch, there is a ribbon that is attached right here. So be careful of this ribbon when taking it off. You're gonna take it up and you're gonna flip it backwards so you don't mess that ribbon up. The ribbon is also attached right here to a little hook. You can very gently pull it around that hook so you have more play on it. See, we now have a lot more play. There it is, upside down, out of its case. Other piece sitting right here. You can see the ribbon still attached. Don't, don't worry about disconnecting that. And now, you're gonna remove this piece right here. There are six screws. We now have all six of the screws out. Now it is loose. Also again, watch when flipping this, you got this ribbon to worry about now. So you're gonna pull it out from underneath the circuit board and there she bees. If you look on the outside edge, there are one, two, and three three little clips. So you're gonna wanna pop one of them out, pop the second one out, and you see that comes right off. You then pull that part off. This is the first repair that needs to happen often. There's these little wheels right here on the edge that the platter actually sits on, and that's what it rolls on, is these little tiny wheels and all it is is little tiny axles with little rubber wheels on them. You can see I have one missing right here on this one. It makes no difference with that one right there missing. You then have another layer of them down here all the way around the black edge, which is for this to run along. If you're getting a sound that sounds like crunch, 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 when you turn it, it's because one of these things, the axle has broken and it's stuck in there somewhere. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll fall down in the groove. Now, the second repair is for, some people have problems more with the 1000s. If you're putting your hand on the outside, it starts scratching or you'll get a little bit of a glitch and it just doesn't seem like your CDJs are as tight as they used to be when you first got them. Here is how you fix that. If you look right here, there are three gold screws around this edge here. You're gonna go ahead and remove all three of those gold screws and this white piece right here around the edge. That whole piece is gonna come off and underneath are three springs. You can kind of see it's spring loaded so it pushes up against this uh, first platter. If it's not pushing up against, if the springs are compressed a little bit and it's not pushing up against as much as it should, that's where you're gonna get a little bit of a glitch. Go ahead and remove these three. Remember there are three springs under here, so do not lose them. All three screws are out. We're gonna remove this white circle right here. As you see, there's one, two, and three springs. Take the spring out. All three of them you'll do this with. You're just gonna kinda Stretch him out a little bit, make him a little bit longer than he was. Put him right back, grab the next spring. 
Same thing with the third spring. If you have an older set of CDJs, you might want to go ahead and do this repair. Now we're going to put this bastard back together. First, you're going to take the white circle, and you'll see there's five points that it sits on, three of which are the springs. You're going to put your gold screws back in. All right, your three gold screws are back in place. We're now going to put the platter back together and put it on. If you flip both of them over, the easiest way I've found is if you see these little prongs on the outside, there's one, then there's one that has two that stick out, there's one that has two, and there's another one that has two. If you find the single one and you find the smallest opening on the inside, which is here, you put that single one right there and should fall right in place. Now you're going to turn it over, kind of keep your fingers up under this so it stays in, and you're going to put it down on top underneath of one clip first, still holding the platter a little bit underneath of the second clip, and then be gentle with it and clip down the third, make sure it spins, you're good to go. Now we're going to flip it back over. Again, watching this ribbon and slide it underneath the circuit board real easy like and then you're gonna screw this back in I find it easier to screw the top one in first so it kind of keeps it all in place and then get the bottom two then the sides so we got our six screws back in this black piece everything's all back together now this is this is probably honestly the hardest part is when you're flipping this back over, getting this ribbon to sit underneath of this clip again. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this piece up and you're going to go and attach the ribbon again. It's now back there and it's a lot tighter. And then you're simply just going to flip it back over. Set her down nice and gently should fit on there nice and snug and then go ahead and put that back screw the gold screw silver screw back in the back first got that in place remember this is still loose so flipping it over go ahead and flip it back towards the screw because you know that one's good just hold on to the front and then start out go ahead and put your front screw in right here then go ahead and get the four screws down next to each of the feet right down in there and then flip her back over that's it let's go test her out no clunking no clunking no more if you had that problem and we'll go see how tight she is now she is now hooked back up ready to go and show off for you a little bit this is what was happening to this one for a little while I'd go to hit play and it would kinda and hesitate a little bit and then start by itself even sometimes if I went to drop it it would hesitate a second then drop that's what ended up getting fixed with the whole stretching out of the springs we're gonna see how tight this thing actually is I might have to say that's pretty damn tight. Let's test her out in the mix. I'm going to have to say that's pretty damn tight. I hope that helped you out a little bit. 
Paul the DJ, holla at your boy.